First thing that we need to do is remove the round plastic bungs over the screws on each corner of the top of the door. We could put down some masking tape and that would help us from not damaging the plastic like I did on mine. This piece of plastic is clocked to the hole. So remember that when you're going to reinstall it. Now using a T25, we can remove the screw for the door panel trim. Now we have one more circular cover that we need to remove and one more T25 screw that needs to be removed. Now moving from the top down to the bottom, we're gonna remove our panel by turning the little clips here and the panel should drop down. When you go back to fit it back on, it hooks on with these little hooks down here in the bottom of the tabs. Now down here underneath that cover, we're gonna find two T25 screws. Now taking our hand up underneath here, we can gently pull back on the trim bezel that is affixed to there and it will come away from the door. It is affixed with these little tabs. And underneath that trim bezel, we're gonna find one more and two more Torx bits that we need to take out of there. We should have a total of six screws that we removed. To help you avoid from breaking the little clips that are behind the trim panel or as few as possible, I've put paint marks, well, I put tape around the outside to show you the locations. There's two up underneath here. I put the tape marks on here so you would know exactly where the little pushies are so when you disassemble it, you avoid breaking as few as possible. Now taking a trim tool similar to this or a screwdriver or whatever, we're gonna start working around the door ledge and popping it out. Eventually, once we get enough room in there, we can give her a sharp grab and pull and pull it backwards. Do not do this outside in the cold because more than likely you will crack your door trim panel. Now, once you have the door trim panel released from all of its clips, you can simply lift up on it and pull it back. And we're gonna need to unhook the electrical connectors that are back here. Unlike most vehicles, these electrical connectors do not have serious tabs that you need to push to release them. They simply pull out. If I needed to remove the door handle mechanism itself, I would take a screwdriver, put it behind there, and push it out forward, pulling it out squarely, and then turning it and lifting it up. But I don't need to do that for this situation. Now to remove my window switch, I'm simply going to take this plastic clip out of here by pulling out on it. I simply take a screwdriver and I pry it behind there and the clip comes off. So the way to remove this out of the trim panel is to push down on it and then pull it out and slide it over. Okay, if you're like me and you broke a bunch of these clips, we're going to need to remove them and replace them. You can generally get something very similar to it at your local parts store. It more than likely won't look identical, but if you can't reuse them, you need to replace them. Okay, so even though some of the heads are halfway tore off of these, they're still usable, so I'm going to reuse them. And in the instances where they're not reusable, I use a little bit of my brain and I think about where the door panel is affixed to the frame and I will at least make sure that the corners are covered and have pushies in them. Like that one, I won't be able to put one in, but it's got this one here and that one down there. Make sure that you plug in your three electrical connectors prior to putting your door panel on. Now when I set my door panel in place, I always just get a good feeling, make sure that my pushies are going into the right spots. And I generally work from the top. Now it sometimes sits down in a channel down here and in this situation it does. So then I'll just take it and I'll give it a little hit, especially since I know where my pushies are at. 
going around the door and making sure that it is going down properly. Now, special note, make sure you push up on these so they go inside the brackets and then you're able to push the door trim panel back into its place. Going around the door and making sure it's down. Now we can reinsert our six torque screws. Four of the bolts for your trim panel are the same. The two larger bolts go back inside the handle. Now there's a total of four bolts left. The two flat bolts go in the top of the trim panel and the two rounder bolts go in the bottom of the trim panel. When reinstalling the door handle trim, you wanna stick it in the bottom first and then work it its way around, putting the two pieces together, making sure all the tabs go inside their appropriate locations. Hopefully you folks found the video super interesting and if I was helpful, you'll put on one of my sweet Clayway playlists at nighttime, just turning that volume down and letting that sucker play from front to back. Remembering that you can always get your own Clayway custom video, custom built engine here at Accurate Engines. Just call down to us. Remember, don't be the next of them, be the first of you. And if anyone else can do it, I promise you, you can do it too. God bless and have the best of days.